What's good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we do have day number two of our San Diego Comic Con 2020 reveals. Comic Con at home, if you will. WWE, Mattel, the Elite Squad, they took live to YouTube on this video, which I will put a link to in the description below if you guys want to hear all the things that were said about these figures. But in this video, guys, we're going to unveil all of the brand new figures that we got today. Tons and tons of stuff to go through, and we still have a couple more days or three of more reveals to come. So do not take all of this. This is not all we're going to get. We still got plenty of more to come in the next few days but these are what we got today plenty of stuff to get through and i'm just going to get started guys because it, it's a lot we got a lot to cover a lot of info and it's going to be exciting guys so let's go ahead and start off with a biggie right now let's go ahead and start off with this ultimate edition 2020 royal rumble return edge as you guys can see on your screen i think this thing looks fantastic i love the original head sculpt that comes on the figure uh, this was revealed to be Ultimate Edition Series 8 Edge, and this will be together with a figure that you guys will see later on. So you guys know that Series 6 is Charlotte and The Rock. Series 7 is Hulk Hogan and The Fiend, which we're going to get into. But I wanted to start off with Ultimate Edition Series number 8 Edge. And the only thing I can say is I don't know about this alternate head sculpt. Uh, my friend Cody mentioned that it kind of looks like the finishing moves, Jack's figures, I think that's what they were called, where the hair is kind of like blowing backwards like he's doing a spear. He comes with the rock and roll hands, the devil horn hands, or whatever you want to call those. Entrance jacket, I'm guessing it will come with the entrance jacket and, you know, obviously the posing arms. And then he'll also come with uh, regular skin tone and regular wrestling arms, so you'll have wrestling gear edge as well. This is a fantastic figure. I'm not so sure about the second head sculpt. Maybe you can do a hair swap with it or something like that, but I do like the OG head sculpt, and I like the facial expression for the second head sculpt. I just don't know how I feel about the hair sculpt, but this is a fantastic figure. I am super hyped that we are finally getting a 2020 Edge, but we do have some other Ultimate Editions like the Ultimate Edition Series 7 Fiend Bray Wyatt. So here is our Fiend Ultimate Edition. It does look like it's going to come with the regular Elite Fiend head sculpt. It is going to come with this entrance jacket, much like the Edge, much like the Bret Hart and the Shinsuke and the Ronda. You guys know how they do the Ultimate Editions. They seem to give us interchangeable jacket arms with a vest style jacket that's uh, sort of a rubbery material that can be posed around a little bit. And then they'll give us the regular wrestling arms so that you can do his regular wrestling gear after he makes his way to the ring. You get the Fiend Universal Championship, a tongue out alternate head sculpt. And uh, he does have the boot covers on his boots, so I'm not sure if those are going to be removable. I'm sure they will be. And uh, you can have the boot cover mold or the non-boot covers is what it looks like. I doubt that's a, just a brand new boot mold. Could be, but this is what our Ultimate Edition Fiend looks like. You know, not too many details. We don't see what the arms look like just yet, but just rest assured it's probably going to be the Elite Arms but double jointed. So there is the Fiend Ultimate Edition. We also have a look at the NWO Hollywood Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition. And it looks just as good as we thought, man. Gloved hands. He's got his boa. I'm hoping that he at least comes with an NWO t-shirt. I'm I'm just I'm really hoping it does. I would expect that it does. Um, you know, we didn't get any word on it. Maybe there'll be like a QA or something later on that will reveal that to us. But for now, in this render image, it does not have an NWO shirt. I'm hoping it does come with one. We're hoping that it does, but I think this looks great. I love all the paint. I like the head sculpts, NWO world title. Boa, I mean, it looks good, man. The paint apps and everything, Mike holding hands, fists, this looks good. And also, I'm not sure if it's going to be fingerless gloves or gloved hands. I guess we'll just have to see about that. Um, I think that's something that could easily be customized or something like that if you didn't like the full gloved hands. I, for one, would like fingerless gloves, but I'm not sure if this is just for the render or if this is going to be, you know, a full deal or, or what that is. But not only do we have our Ultimate Editions here, guys, we also have another Ultimate Edition that will be paired with Edge. So you guys know that Hulk Hogan and Bray Wyatt... The Fiend are going to be Ultimate Edition Series 7. Well, Ultimate Edition Series 8 will be Edge and Macho Man Randy Savage. So, this is probably a more disappointing one for me. I'm not really big on this Ultimate Edition Macho Man. I just, I'm not big on this attire. Um, and I just feel like there could have been a different way to do it. I mean, obviously, Macho Man's a legend. He, he deserves, you know, all the figures. And his figures are usually pretty daggum good. I don't know. I just am not hyped about this Ultimate Edition. It's not one of those ones that I'm really looking forward to. It's just, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. You get two interchangeable heads sculpts you have the arms there i'm sure it'll probably come with some robe or some entrance accessory that goes over this or some cloth thing with the hat sunglasses and everything but i don't know i'm just not too hyped on this one i'm definitely more hyped for edge than this macho man randy savage you guys can let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below another figure that we have guys is going to be eo shirai elite series 79 eo shirai 
looks fantastic. I love this jacket. The jacket with the fur on the hood. It's got uh, a beautiful uh, face scan. I think the face scan looks just like the head sculpt. Um, you got in uh, package images of it as well. And I think this is a really good figure. The women's figure for Elite 79 with the Io Shirai looks really, really good. I like the black and neon. She looks good, man. Io Shirai is definitely looking fly, and I, I rhymed that unintentionally, but this is a good-looking figure. The Io Shirai looks really daggum good. I love this a lot. But not only do we have Elite Series 79 Io Shirai, guys, we also have Elite Series 79 Collector's Edition Undertaker, which is going to be a Walmart exclusive. You guys can see here... <coughs> almost choked on nothing. You guys can see here, this Undertaker looks great. I do believe this is from Extreme Rules 2020, right? Or is this from his WrestleMania match? I can't even remember, but the uh, in-package imaging here, it says 30 years. It is a 30-year celebration, so it's Elite Series 79 Collector's Edition, and it's going to have this beautiful-looking packaging. On the back, it says, He debuted as the hollow-eyed dead man. He evolved into the leader of the ministry, the Lord of Darkness. He transformed into the motorcycle-riding force of destruction, big evil. He lived on as the iconic phenom. He immortalized himself as the last outlaw for over 30 years. If you stepped to him, he'd make you famous. He's the man whose legacy will never rest in peace. The Undertaker, 30 years, beautiful pack. Packaging. This looks like a boss. I think this is what he wore at Extreme Rules when he tag team with Roman Reigns. I could be wrong about that, but I like this head sculpt. I like this body mold. I think this is a really good Undertaker figure. I like the way it looks. And so there is your Undertaker Elite Series 79. Uh, really good stuff. I like this Undertaker a lot. I, I really love the in package. I'm not a mock guy, but if you are a mock guy, you got to be excited about this one. That looks fantastic. Next up, guys, we do have Elite Series 80 Bailey in her, I call it the AEW gear. It's like the black, gold, and silver. Really good head sculpt on this. You get a uh, Bailey buddy that's deflated, and it looks like, uh, I don't know if you can blow it up or if this is just going to be a deflated Bailey buddy for when she destroyed hers. Uh, I'm not exactly sure on that one, but this looks great. I really like this Bailey. Super excited to get rid of my network spotlight that just gives me headaches all the damn time. I am ready for this Bailey figure, and I think that looks really good. Speaking of Elite Series 80, guys, we also have Elite 80 Ricochet in the house in his Nightwing gear. He's going to have Nightwing gear with his Kawhi Leonard hands. It looks like he has a slightly updated head sculpt. Same body mold we've gotten to know from Ricochet. It seems like it's the same parts, but one thing you will notice about it is it does have knee pads. We have knee pads on our freaking Ricochet. This is excellent. Entrance vest, hood down, hood up accessory, Elite 80 Ricochet looks good. I'm super excited for this. I'm wondering if that uh, that crotch mold, it looks like that may be sculpted on there. We may have a new crotch mold for Ricochet with the ties right there. I could be wrong, you know, we'll have to see, but uh, it looks good. I like the Nightwing gear. You know, it is uh, mostly black, but I like Nightwing. I like the light blue. The knee pads are a super big, uh, you know, I say accessory. It's, it's super awesome that they're including those, and I think this Ricochet looks good. Moving up to Elite Series 81, guys, we have Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair, in her, she's got like her own silhouette and her uh, kissing lips emoji or print that you want to say here with this figure. It does come with sunglasses. It's got her long hair. I would love to see, you know, a, uh, what is it, a posable wire, like a metal wire in her hair so that it is posable. That would be really sick. I don't know if we're going to get that, if it's just going to be straight down or if it's going to have a bendy wire in there to be able to pose it around. But this Bianca Belair looks fantastic. Really excited to get her in the collection. She comes with three pairs of interchangeable hands. You got the wide open hands, like the slapping hands or the you can't see me hands, mic holding hands, and of course she does have this. But also in Elite Series 81, are we not only getting Bianca Belair, but we are also also getting the Street Profits. We are getting Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. And I don't know about you guys, but why is Montez Ford, like, his eyes are shut or, like, they're almost shut? I'm not exactly sure why that is. It's a smiley head sculpt there. Comes with the crown, the necklace, the glasses, the entrance hoodie, the uh, red solo cup, interchangeable gloved hands. I mean, this, this Montez Ford figure is beautiful. I love this Montez Ford. Looks like they're going with the ricochet torso, all of his tattoos. I am super hyped for not only Montez Ford, but Angelo Dawkins. Both of them look really good. The Angelo Dawkins looks massive. Looks like we do have a new shorts mold with the John Cena calves and shoes going on. He comes with, with three interchangeable pairs of hands. He doesn't come with near as much as Montez Ford. Not exactly sure why. Why that is but another thing i wanted to add is why doesn't he come with a red solo cup i feel like both of them should have came with red solo cups but the montez ford head sculpt is very odd to me i do not know why the man his eyes are near closed or like he's laughing it just looks odd to me i don't know or like he's yelling i, I don't know it's a smile but it kind of looks like he's high or something i don't know but 
Not only are those two or three figures in Elite Series 81, we also are getting a Hollywood Blonde Stunning Steve Austin with the WCW Tag Team Championship with the uh, the take sign or whatever you want to call that, the marker. You guys know that marker, and they slam it shut, and you start the scene. Entrance vest looks beautiful, bro. What a beautiful head sculpt for Stone Cold Steve Austin. And if you're if you're a customizer, bro, you might be able to, you know, make this thing bald, do a little uh, sculpt deal on the beard, maybe change up some paint apps. You might be able to get this guy into a Stone Cold Steve Austin with the head sculpt if you wanted to. This is a must cop for me. I think this is a beautiful Stunning Steve Austin. We've been waiting on this forever. They did a really good job on it. I can't wait for the Stunning Steve Austin. Not only that, guys, but the collector's edition for Elite Series 81 is going to be May Young, and it looks fantastic. I do believe believe that is I, I can't believe is that the make May Young classic trophy I think is what she is coming with what a beautiful May Young man the head sculpt looks fantastic I don't think we've had a May Young in years it's been absolutely years I think since Jax obviously this is the first time in the line so May Young will be making her way to our Mattel figure collections and she does look good man she's looking good with all of her stuff going on I think she looks really really fantastic May Young is uh is making her way to the collection man pretty interesting stuff right there speaking of Elite 82 which we just covered Elite 81 guys we have alexa bliss which is a really good head sculpt this alexa bliss it, it looks just like her uh what was it the the elite 53 body kind of it's like the elite 53 body but she does is gonna have the interchangeable hands with like her entrance hand with the gloves it's gonna come with a women's tag team championship so i'm guessing that nikki cross will probably be in elite series 82 to go along with her possibly maybe 83 and it'll come with the other half of the Women's Tag Team Championships. But the title looks good. The Alexa Bliss head sculpt with the ponytail looks good. And this Alexa Bliss is a strong figure. All right, guys, moving on. We do have more figures to get through. So I'm sorry if it's taking a little bit to get through them. But we do have more figures to get through here. And I'm trying to get through them as fast as I possibly can. But next up, guys, we have the new WrestleMania Elites. Starting off with China, we have a brand new China from WrestleMania 17. This looks amazing. Amazing head sculpt. Great attire. I think this looks so good. We knew we would get more Chinas. I think they nailed the head sculpt. Head sculpt and the likeness. This is a beautiful China. She comes with the women's championship. Not only in this line, guys, but we also are getting a China. We are also getting an edge from WrestleMania 22 where he took on Mick Foley. This is a beautiful edge. I love the head sculpt. It does look like he's going to have the Daniel Bryan torso, which is what, you, you know, you give with, with, with whatever you want to say, but you could switch this out for a Terry Funk torso, which I think would be a beautiful fix-up. I have a Lita that matches this figure, so I am definitely excited to add this to the collection with the entrance shirt, the baseball bat, Rockstar hands. This is a beautiful edge figure, and I can't wait to grab this one as well. Alongside this figure in the WrestleMania wave, we are also getting a Goldberg with the Blue Universal Championship from this past year's WrestleMania. Pretty much a re-release of the main event Raw ring uh, figure. You know, it does look like it has an updated head sculpt. Mike holding hands, choke slam hands. Uh, it kind of looks like his right hand's the same exact hand mold, but it is what it is, whatever you want to say. This Goldberg is what it is. If you if you missed out on the other one, this is a great one. And then we have a Shawn Michaels in his black and white gear. This is a beautiful looking Shawn. I love this attire. Like the white boots, knee pads. You got the entrance gear. This is a beautiful Shawn Michaels, and I think they did a really good job on this one. So the WrestleMania wave this year is going to be great, and every WrestleMania wave isn't it a Build-A-Figure, so we're going to have to see what the Build-A-Figure is. I don't think we know just yet, but there is Shawn Michaels to complete our WrestleMania set. Next up, guys, we have a really big release, and this is going to be the ringside exclusive Elite Firefly Funhouse Bray Wyatt figure. This looks so good. I know you guys are going to be wondering why the hell are the pants black. Well, Brad, I do believe that this is just a prototype, but this head sculpt looks really good. I'm really impressed with this head sculpt. looks just like Bray Wyatt, the Firefly Funhouse version. It looks like his sweater is going to be painted on, which it is what it is. You may want to sculpt over that belly button. That's the only thing I can say is like the torso's fine and everything like that, but I definitely say that the uh, belly button needs to be sculpted over or something because that looks really odd. Maybe they'll fix it. It is just a prototype, but the pants are also full black, which is something that needs to be fixed and needs to be in khaki, and hopefully they'll get him a belt as well so we'll just have to see about that i don't know exactly what the deal is with that maybe they'll fix these things but he is also going to come with his puppets so all the puppets are rep represented right here rambling rabbit and and mike holding hands and stuff like that this is a really exciting release i can't wait for this i like i love firefly funhouse bray so this is a definite must cop for me uh, we are going to get a Bray Wyatt in the Firefly Funhouse. 
Next up, guys, we also have some Legends figures. So coming up, we do have some Legends figures. Featured here, guys, is a Nikolai Volkov. We have not seen a Nikolai Volkov. I think this may be... The second Nikolai Volkov, it may be the third. Um, I don't think we've had a Nikolai Volkov uh, in a long time, so this is a very big release here. Kind of a re-release. The head sculpt definitely looks better than the first Nikolai Volkov that I used to have in my collection, so this one looks really good. Comes with his hat, interchangeable hands. We also have two different versions of Million Dollar Man, so you have a Chase version that matches our Toys R Us exclusive Virgil, and then you also have a black suited version, which uh, I like the Chase version better, which is in the silver and pink, but the black is absolutely classic and I don't think we've seen this from Million Dollar Man since the entrance grates way back in the day when he came with that suit that was in cloth form. So there is the Million Dollar Man. Two interchangeable head sculpts, Million Dollar Championship. It would not be the Million Dollar Man without it. We also have a DDP, which is going to be from the early 2000s. You have the DDP with the short haircut, interchangeable, or uh, entrance vest, DDP hands, and uh, this this looks pretty good, man. I, I like this. You know, I would have preferred the, the skinny jeans with the longer DDP hair, but this is still cool. I still like it. You know, you get an era of DDP in there. I love the, uh, the airbrush on the side of the pants. This is a cool release for DDP. We haven't had a DDP Elite in a really long time. Elite 36, I do believe, was the last one, so it is cool. And uh, I am still looking for our skinny jeans DDP, but this is still a nice release right here. We also have two different versions of Brutus Beefcake. He is going to come in his yellow zebra print with pink zebra print on his arms. And then he has like a, che uh, like a cheetah zebra print and then cheetah blue and black on his tights. And he will come with the world tag title there. There is another Legends figure for you right there. Next up, guys, we also have reveals of our Fan Central Takeover line, which is going to feature the figures that won the polls. And this is going to disappoint some people, but... Here we go, guys. First up, we have Seth Rollins, who we knew it to be true. We figured it'd be true. And it is uh, WrestleMania 35 Rollins did win the poll, so he will be in his WrestleMania 35 gear with uh, his entrance vest, which we knew, it, we knew it would happen, right? I mean, we knew this thing would happen. It happened. WrestleMania 35 Rollins did win the poll, so that's the figure there. We also got Adam Cole, and he is not in the War Games gear. He is not in the War Games gear. Very disappointing, but... Uh, it's still a good-looking figure. It does look like the the same Elite 71 head sculpt. It may be slightly different. Maybe it is a little bit different, but he comes with the NXT Championship, three pairs of interchangeable hands. Would have liked to seen the War Games attire. Maybe they'll fit it in somewhere, but I cannot believe that the War Games gear did not win the poll. It did not win the poll, but here we are, man. We can't do nothing about it now. But uh, the next figure is Shayna Baszler. I don't remember what gear this was, but it is her black and maroon gear. Very similar to her Elite 67 figure. She will have double-jointed knees, and she will have her towel and her interchangeable hands which is new for her figure so definitely an upgrade from her elite 67 and then we do have ricky the dragon steamboat with the intercontinental championship which i'm pretty sure is a re-release from his walmart flashback exclusive figure that we've already seen but there is another figure right there so the figures that we wanted to win the poll did not win the poll which does suck but you know what do you do i mean you got to just live with it at this moment you got to just take it on the chin and accept with it what you will. But yeah, I would have definitely liked to seen some different attires for this line, but that's what we got. All right, guys, we're still not done here. We still have more figures to get through. I'm sorry if I'm dragging around here, but I just want to get my thoughts in on these figures as well as show them off to you. But we also have Elite Series 83 King Corbin. So Elite 83 will feature Trash Corbin. He will come with his crown, his scepter, his cape. And it does look like they're using a Dean Ambrose torso, which I thought was a very interesting choice. But there is Elite 83 Trash Corbin. We also have Elite 84 Angel Garza. Elite 84 Angel Garza and Elite 84 Rhea Ripley. Both of these look pretty daggum good. I think they both look good. Uh, Elite 84, Rhea Ripley, and Angel Garza. Pretty cool to get these guys in our collection. I mean, Elite 84, man, that seems like forever away. We still haven't gotten Elite 78, so it is a definite ways away. But Angel Garza figure... Uh, his figure does look really good. It looks just like what he looks like on TV right now. It does look like his lower legs are molded in uh, tights mold, so it's kind of like a James Ellsworth deal going on right here with his legs, but maybe they'll fix that. Maybe he'll come with uh, ripped uh, pants that can be ripped off. I guess we'll have to see, but uh, it's still really early in the process. They have plenty of time to adjust that figure, but Rhea Ripley looks damn good as well. Another Elite 84, or Elite 88, I should say. Is this Elite 88? It's either Elite 84 or Elite 88. I'm getting two different messages here, but uh, Kashida we have Kushida in the white shorts. He looks really good. You know, I don't feel like he's featured a lot. So, I mean, dude, if it's this far away, I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like it's been a while since he's been on TV. And then you're going to give us a figure of him 10 series from now. I don't know. That's kind of scary. We'll just have to see about that. But Kushida's figure still looks good here. The render image. I love all the white going on. Plenty of part switching and, and different customization you can do with that guy. But uh, that is not all, guys. We also have Elite Series 82 Jerry Lawler, which is, I don't know. It, it is what it is. I like the crown. 
I like the attire, but I don't know if we really needed a Jerry Lawler, but if you're a flashback collector, you really want a Jerry Lawler, this one is great. Maybe we could use it as a base or something else. Maybe we can get some customization in here. Just don't really need a Jerry Lawler for my collection, but maybe I can make some work. Another Elite 82 figure, guys, is going to be Davy Boy Smith, and it is the British Bulldog. Love these boots. Love it to death. You get the Bulldog there in the white gear, red knee pads. Kind of a plain Jane figure. Um, I really thought it was going to be like an uh, you know early 2000s Davy Boy Smith, but this is also cool. We are also getting a two pack from uh, our WrestleMania here. We got a two pack with Mr. T and Roddy Piper with boxing gloves from their iconic moment. This is really cool, man. I love the plaid shorts on Roddy. I love the uh, just the aesthetic of these. It's great. I hope they're really poseable. I like the shorts molds and stuff. We got some new molds going on with these, and they look really good, man. We haven't had a Roddy Piper figure, and it seems like forever, so this is really nice to see. I can't wait to get these in hand, but we do have that two-pack with Mr. T and Roddy Piper. So Paul Ellering is actually going to be the WrestleMania 37 Build-A-Figure, so uh, if you want to make your Paul Ellering, you are going to have to buy the whole set. The China, the Edge, the Goldberg, and HBK. So he will be the uh, the Build-A-Figure with that set. That's really interesting to me. And uh, that's that's pretty cool. So there is your Build-A-Figure. I feel like we saw this figure forever ago. You guys remember the render from like two or three years ago. And now it is finally making its way into our collections. But better late than never. So that's pretty cool there. Another set that we got, guys, was this basic Battle Pack WrestleMania moments or something like that. It's got, uh, it's it's Andre the Giant, Macho Man, and it does come with this entrance uh, ring thing that you guys know that the, the that the wrestlers used to make their way down to the ring in. I don't think it has any, uh, you know, wheels on it or anything, but... You know, it is what it is. It does have all this stuff going on with it. So that will be a battle pack, I think. I think this is going to be a battle pack that comes together. I don't know how the hell you're supposed to fit that into the packaging. I guess you'll just have to build that up or something. But there is that. It's a little basic battle pack that we got going on. And then finishing up here, guys, we do have some basic figures. Uh, starting out first, we do have Humberto Carrillo, who is a part of Basic Series 113, I think, or 115. Uh, head sculpt looks pretty solid. White attire looks pretty good. We also have Tegan Knox, who is a part of Basic Series 113. 115 and then we have Dakota Kai who is also a basic that we're going to be getting in basic series 116 I think sorry these the, like I'm getting mixed information from different in Instagram pages and WWE but I will leave a link in the description so you guys can go watch that video you can check out the gallery yourself uh, that also has you know different stuff on it I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this one guys but we are also getting a basic Tony Storm which she is the chase figure I think in this set so we'll get a regular version here or we'll have a regular version and then we'll have our base uh, our chase version here in red so tony storm's looking really good and then we also get mia yim which we already knew we were getting we didn't know what the figure looked like but the head sculpt looks really damn good for this mia yim figure and then we also have a candace LeRae elite so we are getting a candace LeRae elite which is going to be super awesome i think it looks great it looks like she has lower calf rotation and upper thigh cut which is really insane i think it says elite 87 so it's going to be a while before we get the candace LeRae. But it still looks good. It looks like Candice LeRae. But the Candice LeRae looks good. It'll look great up next to our Johnny Gargano. And finishing it off, finally, guys, we have images of our Ultimate Edition. I, I heard that this was going to be ringside exclusive, actually. The, the Charlotte figure of Ultimate Edition is going to be a ringside exclusive. Beautiful looking robe, beautiful looking head sculpts, interchangeable hands, ringside exclusive Charlotte in her pink robe, and then the Ultimate Edition Rock is going to be Amazon exclusive in the Survivor Series gear with the beautiful looking uh, accessories, WWF Championship, Rock shirt, Rock microphone, even though it's a newer mic for some reason, but uh, that is all of the reveals, guys. I know it was a long video. I know it was a lot of stuff. I hope you hung out with me through the whole thing, but we had a ton of stuff to get through, man. Like, holy crap. That was a lot of reveals. I know I sat here forever and explained everything to you, but I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Again, we're getting more reveals like the next few days, so not only are we going to get what we saw today, but we still have two or three more days of reveals, and there was a ton of stuff revealed today and still plenty more to come. So you guys know in the tweet they said tons and tons. Well, tons and tons, they 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 were correct, Brad, because we still have two or three more days of reveals, and when we get the reveals tomorrow, I will put them up to you guys to talk about them and get all the good info out, but I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what your thoughts are on all of the stuff down in the comment section below. Tons of fun putting these images up, even though it was a ton and a bunch of mouthfuls, so I'm definitely going to get a sip of old Wawa over there and, you know, chill out and relax the throat of kiss, because... 
that was a lot of talking, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video anyways. Let me know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. I think it was a wonderful day of reveals, plenty of great stuff, a little questionable decisions here and there on some stuff, but I'm hoping that uh, you guys enjoyed it anyway. Let me know what you think down below. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.